Hi, what's up? Do you want to be a healthier, happier person? I dare you to tell me that you say no. Healthy habits can make a huge difference to your fitness if you do it on a regular basis. I want to share with you my top 10 daily habits that I have learned from effective people, from reading books, from reading articles, and self-experiment. Believe it or not, Joe has changed my life in many different areas such as physical health, spiritual health, and mental health. It has brought positive vibes and helped to see the progress in my fitness journey. Are you ready to adopt a small set of these amazing habits? and put it into your practice every single day to improve your personal effectiveness in exponential ways. So here we go. Healthy habit number one, staying hydrated. I start my morning routine by getting enough hydration, drinking a glass of warm water with honey. Sometimes I add numbs, but this personal preference if you like it. Drinking more water leads to countless benefits like cleansing your body, flushing out toxins, and keeping your body cool. Lamb is high in vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant. You have probably heard that vitamin C may prevent or limit the duration of the common cold in some people. Honey contains some rich nutrients. It has been found to be an effective germ killer and also aids in tissue degeneration. The second daily habit is meditation. Meditating will ease stress, anxiety, and help to manage your mind make it easy for you to meditate as a beginner. Practicing deep breathing for 3 minutes and then work up from there, you can meditate in the morning or before bedtime. Make sure you are deep breathing into your diaphragm, not just your chest. Hold it in for a couple of seconds and then release. Meditating gives your body a chance to rest and rejuvenate. Next, effective people enjoy working out. I enjoy fresh air and nature. That's why I don't go to the gym. Going for a brisk walk outdoors or running is my favorite. A brisk walk is one of the easiest and most effective cardio workouts. Remember that the walk can count if your heart rate is high enough. When I'm walking or running, I will test my heart rate. For most of us, resting heart rate between 60 to 100 BPM is normal. While exercising, we need to push heart rate to 80% of our maximum heart rate. The weather today, 19 degrees Celsius, rainy and windy. It's good for walking and running outside. No, that's shocking. So a treadmill can be used on days when the weather is too lusty like this. There are many sports activities that can give you a vigorous workout, such as badminton, football, and swimming. I'm a big fan of swimming on the show. Exercise and fresh air really do wonders for your health because it strengthens your heart, improves your circulation, your cardiovascular system, and reduces the risk of heart diseases. Healthy habit number four, focus on one task at a time. Effective people always know their priorities and focus on one task at a time. Their priorities are solid and they keep their eyes on the walls. They do the most important tasks and not fall for distractions. One thing you do have control over is your mindset. 
invest time in mastering attention training, mindfulness and other types of meditation. These are great ways to sharpen your focus. You not only get more done but also enjoy more flow when you are so absorbed in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The next habit is stop complaining. Our brain has a tendency to focus on what is negative. Compulsive complaining doesn't just get something off the chest. It actually damages your brain. Instead of rambling on and on about what is bothering you, what is making you crazy, devote your energy to what you can do to change the problems. Stay calm and everything will be alright. Let's move to number 6. Stop comparing yourself to others. I have gone along with this quote. Comparison is a tip of joy. I think it's natural to compare ourselves to others, but it often makes us unhappy. I understand that I'm never going to get any younger. Now I'm healthy and full of energy. I'm going to try maximize every working second. Who knows how long will this last? It will never be the same when we are 70 or 80. That's why stop comparing yourself to others because it wastes our time. Another powerful daily habit is strive for progress, not perfection. The fear of not doing things perfectly is what pushes us to procrastinate. And here was I myself, two years ago, didn't upload this video. Sometimes we know new things but fail to put them into practice. When you put your work into process and you put all of the effort on doing something, that's how change occurs. No one is perfect. We are all human beings and human beings make mistakes. This is who we are. You should strive for improvement growth and understanding allow yourself to grow at your own pace during the process. Consistent is number 8. It has to be consistent if you don't have a strong idea of what you need to do. Effective people create specific and realistic goals. Once you have identified your end goal, come up with smaller steps to reach it. The keys of being consistent is to not overwhelm yourself with a high requirement. I see so many people start motivated going to the gym and they drop out after two to three months. Because they see no results, they look at other people and start comparing themselves. But you know what? The world's most successful, healthy, wealthy and influential people are extremely disciplined and consistent. It goes a long way, even if it takes time to sharpen the shawl. Next, an attitude that we need to cultivate every single day is gratitude. Expressing appreciation and being more thankful can improve your overall well-being. Your life, no matter how you think it is, it is a gift. Sometimes it is easy to feel bad because you are going through a tough time. However, no matter how bad the situation may seem, there are tens thousands of people don't get a chance to live to dream. Disease, poverty, violence, war claim thousands of lives each year. But you were lucky to live in a country where it's safe and peaceful. Thinking about all the things you do have, the people you love, the blessings that life has given you. They are your parents, your family, your spouse, your kids, your body, your good health. So often, we take it for granted. Closing your eyes, taking a moment to count your blessings. But hold on, don't fall into sleep yet. We still have habit number 10. 
get enough sleep. The sleeping process allows your body to unwind while at the same time retract your body physically. There's a connection between physical health and mental health and they have ability to affect each other. You need to take time for break for self-care or you are not going to be effective. Just like anything, a habit can be changed or broken with a little bit of determination and willpower. If you put these healthy habits into practice every single day, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellent then is not an act, is a habit. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.